What is going on everybody? Today I just wanted to touch on a fantastic short yardage concept that Mr. Moss was running in the Las Vegas tournament. Now if you don't know who Mr. Moss is, I'll have his Twitter and YouTube down in the description below, but he's a competitive player. Uh, he had a pretty good showing at the Philly event as well as he looked pretty tough at the Las Vegas event. He runs that West Coast playbook and a lot of this single back doubles north as you see on your screen here. He had a really unique setup here in his game against Joke. Now it's third and six, um, you know, a minute into the game, 256 left in the first quarter. So this is a big play against someone of the caliber of Joke. You can't really afford to make mistakes. And uh, I thought he had a really unique setup to end up converting and get the first down on this drive right here. So you see single back doubles north. And what he's going to do to start off the play is he's going to motion Coley from the right to the left. Now what this does, if you guys don't know, I'm sure most of you do, but just to refresh, um, slot receivers have different hot route options than out wide receivers. Specifically, uh, slot receivers can go on either flat routes or hitch routes, whereas the outside receivers have the options to go on comeback routes or smoke screens. So initially, at the start of the play, Coley is considered an outside receiver when he split out far right. Now when he motions him to the left and he creates that, you know, basically single back bunch tight end look. He's now a slot receiver, and he gets the options to go on a flat route or a hitch route. And so Moss uses this uh, to his advantage here. He's going to put Coley on a flat route, and then what he's going to do is he's going to motion him back over, back to the outside where he was originally. And so now he's going to be an outside receiver who's now on a flat route. So that's something that isn't usually attainable. Um, it's not a common route you see by outside receivers at all. Um, I don't know of any plays off the top of my head where a far outside receiver like that has a stock flat route. So now what you're looking at, he came out, he's running the play wide receiver corner in this case. And so what you're looking at now is now Coley's on a flat route. And essentially what he's going to do is he's going to end up wide receiver corner looks like this. You have a corner route, a little hitch route on the outside, and then your tight end is initially on a flat route. What he's going to do is he's going to streak the tight end. So he streaks the tight end. He's going to end up motioning Diggs on that corner route over to the right now. And so that's going to turn that corner route into a post route that goes over the middle of the field. And what you're going to see is that it creates a fantastic combination of routes, basically for his running back out of the backfield on a wheel route. So um, this can be done, obviously, only out of wide receiver corner if you want that post route. Otherwise, if you don't want that post route and aren't so picky, you can use him on a drag or a slant or whatever. This can basically be done out of any play out of not only this formation, but I'm sure this concept can carry over to other formations as well. But what you see is what's happening. This flat route is now dragging out the zone defender on the outside. So the flat zone defender, the cornerback, he's getting dragged out towards the sideline. So, you know, when you have a far outside receiver like that, you can put him on a zig, you can put him on an out, but it does take a little bit of time to develop. A zig is a little... Uh, probably takes a second or two to start going towards the flat and out route can get jammed can kind of get mixed up with that cornerback right there a flat route immediate he's not going to get jammed he's going to just run straight to the sideline so you're getting that cornerback out the way nice and quickly and then what you're going to see you have a tight end for a clear out you have the motioned over post route and what this post route is going to do is it's going to move this zone defender right here and it's going to drag him back so you're dragging him back with the post route you're dragging him to the sideline with the flat route and what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to open up the intended receiver on this play uh, for this type of down and distance situation and that's going to be the wheel route out the backfield right in this area so it's a perfect flood of pull this corner outside to the right pull this defender right here downfield to the middle through that post route and it's going to open up a nice bubble right there uh, for that running back out the backfield on the wheel route and that's exactly what Moss is going to do. Hits McKinnon out the backfield, picks up eight yards, and gets the first down. Keeps his drive alive against Joke. So I just thought that was a really cool, unique play uh, from Moss. Very cool way of using the different types of hot routes depending on where your receiver's lined up. Using motion to get him in a different position. And then actually motioning him back over to get him back in his original position with a hot route that normally wouldn't be accessible. So... Definitely a concept that can probably be carried over if you if you get creative, go into practice mode with your playbook with whatever formations you're comfortable with. And you can probably create a similar concept to this 
uh, out of you know multiple different formations and it could definitely help you out in short yardage situations in red zone style situations you know uh, a lot of people know that the red zone is a very hard place to move the ball in Madden so definitely a cool concept so shout out to Mr. Moss for that and that's pretty much going to cover it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed definitely comment let me know uh, what you guys thought let me know what I can do better for these types of videos in the future and until next time guys take it easy